and welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today, we're gonna make egg roll in a bowl. Today, we're gonna to whip up a super simple, budget-friendly meal. This is so delicious, so easy to make, and it really is super affordable. Um, I'm gonna use one pound of ground beef. They had it on sale this week for $3.99 a pound, so I bought a big pack. Um, I'm just gonna store the other couple in the freezer. And then I'm gonna use a half a head of cabbage for this recipe, a couple of carrots, one or two, whatever you like. And then just pepper, ginger, honey, sesame seed oil, um, some soy sauce, and a little bit of garlic. So let's go ahead and get started. So this goes pretty fast. So I like to start with making my sauce. And I am just going to start with a quarter cup of, I like low sodium soy sauce. I think the other one is a little bit too salty, but it, this one's still pretty salty. So whatever soy sauce you like though, we're gonna use a quarter cup of that. We're gonna put in one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. I love the flavor of the sesame seed oil in here. I had some technical difficulties with the video. So the sauce is one quarter cup of soy sauce. Low sodium is great. One tablespoon of sesame oil. One tablespoon of honey. You can switch that up for your favorite sweetener of choice also. A dash of pepper, one teaspoon of ginger, and two teaspoons of garlic. And then mix it up. Okay, so once you have your sauce all together, I just give it a quick taste and make sure I like it. I can add whatever I want at that point, but that was that's perfect for us. Um, and then I'm, I took about a pound of ground beef here and we're just gonna brown this up. And we just want to get this nice and brown. So we just get our pan nice and hot um, to start with because it helps nothing sticks really in these pans that way. It, you just want it to be good and hot before you put your meat in. And we're just browning this up. We love this meal because it is so inexpensive. I mean, it's about $4 for the meat, for a pound of meat, um, depending on what you're paying in your area. And then cabbage, I paid $4 for the head of cabbage, but I'm only using half of that for this meal. So, and then two carrots, which are probably, I don't know, 10 cents a piece, 20 cents a piece. So under, under seven dollars for this really and we've got all the seasoning and stuff in the house we keep this stuff all the time so this meat is just about completely done there's a little bit here that's a little pink but we're going to be cooking this anyway so with our um cabbage so we're just going to take grab a fork here just make sure this is still mixed we're just going to take our seas our sauce and we're gonna pour this right in the pan. Mmm, mmm, yummy. And we just have this on a medium heat, just halfway, it doesn't need to be super hot. And then we're going to take our, I shredded up two carrots, uh, about medium sized carrots. I like those in here. You can buy the shredded coleslaw at the store. That works too, I've seen people do that. Um, but I find this to be a lot more inexpensive. And then we're going to add our cabbage right in here. And I like to just dice it up so it's nice and thin. And we've got these little strips. That's how we like it. So once this is a lot of cabbage for this pan, but it cooks right down. So it's going to shrink right in there. And this makes a good, healthy meal for the whole family. And you're gonna be able to feed about six people with this, maybe eight if you add some rice into the bowl. There. So we're just gonna attempt 
to stir this and I probably am going to make a mess because you know how I am. <laughs> and we're going to leave this on a medium heat and we're going to put a cover on this to kind of will all this down and so it actually fits in the pan. So we're just going to pop this on and we're going to let this cook for a couple of minutes. I'm going to keep coming back and checking on it. We want to get this cabbage wilted down pretty much, but so there's still a little bit of crunch to it. Okay, so this has been cooking for uh, five or six minutes and you can see the cabbage is definitely starting to wilt down. And we just want to give this a good stir, make sure everything's cooking kind of even. And we still have this on a medium heat. And mm, this smells so good. My goodness. We're going to cook this probably about five more minutes. And that way the cabbage has still got a little bit of crunch, but not too much. We like just a little bit of crunch, not too soggy. Okay, so this cabbage is releasing some of its juices, which is wonderful. And I am going to turn this off and just let this sit for a few minutes. It's just about done. And you can see the cabbage isn't quite so crunchy, but not soggy. Got a little bit of crunch left in there. So I'm just going to put the cover on this, turn the heat off, and let it sit for about there you five have it. minutes. Egg roll in a bowl. I just topped it with a little parsley and some sesame seeds. You can use green onions, whatever it is you like, really. You can mix this up anyway. I am skipping the rice today, keep the carbs a little bit lower, but if you wanna stretch this out, this is absolutely delicious over rice. That's how we normally eat it, but um, it is so good and so yummy. And just everything's in one pan, it's easy and affordable, which I love. Mmm. Mmm. I love egg rolls. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Super simple, easy, it's delicious, and it's super good for you. We love cabbage. We eat lots of it here because it is so nutritious and good for you, and it's really affordable. Um, a big head of cabbage is going to feed a lot of people, and a lot of times, even with a family of six, I only use half a head at a time. So I get two meals out of it, which is really nice. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!